Hello party people, it is Will Pemble. We are back in the shop today. I want to keep on going with this piece of PVC track that we built last time. I got a lot of questions and comments. The most important comment that I heard, or question that I heard was, how do you join two pieces of track together? So what we're going to do today is we're going to join these two pieces of track together. There are a bunch of ways to do it. The way that I like to do it best has to do with using a modified piece of one and a half inch diameter PVC because if you're building a coaster, you got a lot of that around. So let's get started. Now let's imagine that I just want to hook this piece of track onto this one so that when we're done, we've got two pieces of PVC that are joined together as seamlessly as possible so that when our coaster rolls over this seam, it's, well, seamless. So how do we do that? What I like to do is take a piece of PVC about six inches long, and then I'm gonna chop about an inch of the outer wall away so that I can squish it down and fit it inside and form a sleeve. I'll show you what I mean. Now, all I gotta do, all I gotta do is squish this thing down so it fits inside this other thing. Let's use science for that. Come on. I've been cooking. What I did was I took this little piece of PVC and I put it in my toaster oven at 190 degrees for about five, maybe 10 minutes. I already have one in there. It's like a cooking show. So I put that in there for five or 10 minutes and then remember how tough it was to move around? It's not that tough anymore, but it's gonna cool down fast. So come on, let's get it where it needs to be. So now my hot, but not too hot, bendy piece of PVC is just springy enough to where I can fit it inside here as a sleeve. And remember, we're gonna have half of it go in this side and then the other piece of PVC, imagine this is a longer piece of track, that'll go in this side. Now that I know this will fit, I wanna take just a little bit of medium clear PVC cement in there and jam my little sleeve in there. This is gonna be where our screws go along the rail. Remember at 45 degrees, so we're not hitting anything. And then my sleeve is gonna look like that. See? Now, whew, if you could smell the PVC. Now, I take my other piece of PVC Imagine this is a much longer rail. I just don't want to burn a whole chunk of pipe to do a demo. Um, and like that. And I end up with a very convincing seam. That's gonna look pretty darn good. The great thing about PVC cement is just a couple of seconds after you put it in there, it's really, really strong. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. And that's just as simple as it gets. You now have a really smooth, really strong joint in between these two different pieces of PVC pipe. I always put the seams on the ties just like this. But the real trick I came up with 
and I got a lot of help from the awesome people at PVC Bend It, which is a company who knows more about bending PVC than anybody else that I've been able to find, is you heat this up to about 200 degrees, and as soon as the PVC hits 200 degrees, according to the PVC Bend It website, it starts to get really malleable. So when we're making our little sleeves on the inside, we don't want to heat them up to where they're really, really floppy. We just want them to get squishy enough to where we can manage them, but they still have enough spring so that they push on the outside of our rails. That is how you join two pieces of PVC while you're making a PVC roller coaster. Thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I am Will Pemble, and I'll see you soon.